saying, okay, this one is about objects, objects in your hand, okay? So, to practice now, well, I like to isolate as you're sitting down. I, I like to remove the footwork. Then we'll put the footwork in later. Hmm? Can you imagine if you can hit with power, with speed, with focus, with timing, sitting down? And you're not even using the forward momentum to go forward huh? or to step forward or to add that to your power. You're sitting down. If you can do that sitting down, imagine what happens when you stand up and you add your legs, you add your distance, you add your, your, your power in, in, into the movement, you add your legs. You compound the power of what you have sitting down into something that is even more powerful standing up. Okay? Think about it. You need to be able to work sitting down and then standing up. So once you're sitting down, you're isolating, right? And you stay within this framework in here. Watch yourself in the camera. You don't want to go uh, over, uh, over, uh, 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 reaching all over for yourself. You're in a chair, you have limited capacity. So now you have to take what your limits are and play it to your advantage, which means that you need to then put power into short range. You need to focus on timing of them coming in or you're coming in or, or whatever the distance is that you can reach for here, but not overreach. And every time that you stay within your focus grip here, right? Boom, 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 boom. Because it doesn't matter what you hit with. Boom, boom, boom. You can hit with this, hit with this, 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 this. Hit with every anything you want. Because you're not, and you should never focus on what you're hitting with. Because you don't know what your target is. If you're hitting a guy like this, you're hitting a guy like this, bang, you may not hit him with this. You may hit him with the end of your neck bone. You may hit him with this. You may hit him with this, this. But eventually, if you hit him with the metal part, you hit him with the, with the, with the object, it's going to hurt. Hmm? But you can't release the power and you can't focus the power only on the object. Okay, that's why you focus within here. If I'm going boom, 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 bang, boom, and as you're doing it, bang, boom, all this becomes your offense. Hmm? As you're hitting forward, bang, boom, 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 your offense then is your defense. Hmm? You always want to make sure that when you're hitting, whether foo, 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 that you stay within here, bam, 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 boom. And then you do it slow. Figure out where your hits are. Bang, bang, bang. How many hits you can hit, how you can multiple hit with power using circular movements. Bang! Huh? Not one, two, three. I mean, come on. Time yourself. You have an inner time in your head. And you go, where's your second hit? Oh, I'm going to hit here. Oh, I'm going to hit here. Look how long that was. Okay, if you do it slow, bang, 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 bang. And then you try to do it fast. <laughs> You're playing with your head. This is where your zone is. How many hits can you hit here with power, with timing, with speed, sitting down, not relying on your legs to make the hit? You, again, only have this object. And this is just a, an object, right? It could be a pen, it could be a knife, it could be a comb, which, which is the reason you don't focus on the 
parts that can hit. You still just hit, okay? Because you don't know what your target's gonna do. You know nothing. Again, you wanna win. So take this, this idea, this concept, whatever you wanna call it, it's all style neutral, and you add it to what you do. You make whatever you do fit in to the concept of multiple hitting in the zone, double hitting power, boom, 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 boom. The same stuff that you would have used if you're standing up to make the same hits. Hmm? Think of it, stand up now and do those movements. Same movements you did sitting down and then move forward, move forward, move forward, move to the right, move to the left, move backwards, move forward. Same thing as you're sitting down, you can't do those things because I've isolated your movements because you're sitting down. So when you stand up and you go right, you go left, you go, you go this way, you go that way, you circle backwards, all the power should still be there. Because you don't know where you're going to end up. You don't know if, if you're going to be pushed against the wall, pushed against somebody. You don't know if you're going to trip. You don't know if your footwork's solid. You don't know anything. But you want to generalize. You want to make sure that if I can do it sitting down, I could do it standing up. I could do it on the ground. I could do it anywhere I want to. Hmm? But you got to find that limit. You got to put yourself into a limit where you can't do much more than you thought you can do. So you have to work with what you have. Okay? You design more drills, you make it better for your students, you make it better for yourself. 